What is going on guys, Nick here. Um, today with the Coleman, we are going to swap the gears. We're going to change out the stock roof sprocket and throw on a 60 tooth, and we're gonna change out the stock 10 tooth front sprocket in the torque converter, and we're gonna pop and put in a nine tooth. So like I said, towards the end of the last video, um, I think my gearing's too tall for my power, which is putting too much load on my belt, which is causing it to slip. So that's why I kind of had a reduced zero to 30 time than what you would expect from that and i didn't really gain anything from top speed um so i'm going to put a short gear on the rear and a short gear on the front it's going to be a 60 tooth on the rear and a nine tooth on the front so this is a stock sprocket off of a ct 200 u uex bt 200 x uh, baja warrior massimo mb 200 whatever this is 52 teeth usually on these 19 inch tall tire bikes 50 to 52 is standard and this is a 60. Then we're gonna compare the two. It's a pretty noticeable size difference. So in doing this swap, I should go from a 5.2 to one gear ratio to a 6.66 to one gear ratio. So definitely a lot more torque. And along with that, I'm gonna be changing out these stock uh, spacers for an actual riser plate, just because I've always wanted to do it and figure why not.
Okay, so now that we have the nine tooth and the 60 tooth sprockets thrown on the bike, we're gonna take the bike out, we're gonna take it for a test ride, and then we're gonna do some zero to 30 and a top speed run, and we're gonna see how much faster, hopefully, we've made this bike. Alrighty. Feel on? Yes, it is. My God. This thing definitely uh, is torque here. Definitely feels faster. I'm um, getting up to speed. Whoa. Gas cap flew off. Zero to 30, 6.66 gear ratio, test one. Five point eight seconds. Dude, I don't know, man. This thing is this GPS race timer it needs feels off. Like I don't there's no reason that should be five point eight seconds. That definitely felt a lot faster. Let me uh, try that again and see what happens. All right, zero to 30, 6.66 gear ratio, test two. Point eight seconds. That is more like it. That's definitely what it felt like. Three point eight seconds. I'm gonna go with that. That's definitely a big jump. That's definitely what this bike needed with that uh, bigger gear ratio. So I'm actually thinking I might have too big of a main jet in this thing. I think I'm gonna drop a main jet in this thing because it seems like it's hitting too rich up top. So I'm gonna go drop a main jet, and then uh, we're gonna come back and do a top speed run and see where she's at. All right, top speed run. Six point six six gear ratio. Oh my god! Forty-eight point two eight. So I lost two mile an hour. So we gained a lot of acceleration. We dropped our zero to thirty time to three point eight seconds, but we lost two mile an hour. We dropped down to forty-eight miles an hour. Even though I went from sixty-six hundred RPM to seven thousand RPM, uh, maxing out. Um, I know that you know the shorter gear you go, the less top speed you're going to get, but uh, the more acceleration you get. But I figured I would at least stay the same or relatively the same with the mile an hour not lose two mile an hour 
but I mean, that's okay. We're gonna be adding more RPM to this engine later on down the line. But uh, I'm happy with the acceleration on this bike. Just the torque that instantly comes on with this uh, shorter gear ratio is crazy. I love it. I will take the two mile an hour loss for all this extra torque. Um, um, don't forget to like the video, um, comment. Uh, what's, what's the shortest gear ratio you run on your bikes with 19 inch tall tires? Um, a lot of people say six to one's pretty much like the sweet spot for like 19 inch tall tires, but some people run a four to one stock gear ratio, whatever. Um, don't forget to subscribe and click the notification bell to get notified of my next video. And until next time, guys, peace.